Hey, Tony Moreland here, Samsung Developer Program. I've got a quick tutorial video showing how to make this animated progress bar showing battery percentage on your Galaxy Watch using Galaxy Watch Studio. All right, let me show you how it's done. All right, so here's a quick overview showing how the bar works. As the battery percentage goes down, the bar width reduces, and at certain levels, it changes from green to orange to red. And not only does the bar change color, but the power icon changes as well. This is done by using the battery timeline to show or hide a layer depending on the power percentage level. You can use your favorite graphics program like Photoshop to create the graphics of the bars. For this design, I have 10 different bars that go from 100% down to 10%. I've saved these images as transparent pings because I have this little rounded corner that I want the watch background to appear behind. If it was a perfect rectangle, I could have saved these as JPEGs. All right, so let's build it. The first thing I'll do is import all of my bar graphics. So I'm just going to select all of these PNGs, drag them into my workspace area, and import them in. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is select all of my layers and use this icon button up here for aligning to center. Perfect, okay. Now in order to control these graphics based on the battery percentage, I need to bring in a battery timeline. And what you do is you click this little plus symbol next to the timeline tab, and I'm gonna select battery percentage. Okay, so now I can control these layers depending on the battery levels, but I first have to activate them. And you do that by clicking on this right side area and just dragging anywhere down. It doesn't matter what you select, just vertically you have to select all of the layers. I'm going to right click and select activate. I'll say yes to this. Okay, so at this moment, every layer is appearing for every percentage. And if you notice here in the timeline, it goes from zero to five to 10 to 15. Each of these little blocks here represents a certain battery level percentage. So to make this easy, I'm actually gonna select all of them. And I am going to right click anywhere and I'm gonna select hide. So what that now means is that none of these layers are going to appear during any of these percentages. This way, it's a little easier for me to go and then select that I want the image bar that represents 10% to appear during the 10% level. Right click, and I'm gonna select show. And I'm gonna do this for each of the percentages until I get up to 100. So now you can see if I drag the timeline for the battery, not only does my battery animation show the different widths for the battery percentage, but it also changes color. All right, so let's add a little bit more to the uh, watch face design. I'm gonna click back on the timeline tab here. And uh, to simplify things, I'm gonna go ahead and group all of these bars. So I can use the keyboard shortcut, which is Command G, that will group. I could also right click on that selection of layers and select group. All right, so now let's bring in the icon for the power symbol. All right, so I have a green, an orange, and a red. So I'm just gonna select those three, bring them to my workspace area, import them in. They're all a little too large, so I'm gonna reduce the size of them. Let me just move them around here so we can see them all. I'm gonna change the size of this. So I'm gonna click the little link symbol here, change my width to, let's go with 80, and I'll do that for each of these. And then selecting all three, clicking the center align button there, and I'm just gonna drag those a little bit lower here. Okay, so now I need to go back to the battery percentage timeline. I'm gonna activate these three layers. I'll say yes to that. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just go hide all of the layers. Let's see, it's right about there. I'm gonna want the red 
icon to show. And then when it changes to orange, up to, let's see, it's at about 60%. I'm going to want the orange layer to show for the icon. And then the remaining will be the green. So this way, as my battery percentage changes, the icon changes. Okay, now the last thing to do just to finish up our design is to bring in a digital clock. I'm going to reposition that and make a few changes here. So in this digital clock, I only want to show the hours on the left and then the minutes on the right. So to do that, I go down to the ICU format and I'm going to change that to be two H's and let me show you what that does. So you can see now it's only showing the hours. It's showing it as two digits. If I only want it to show as a single digit during the hours from one to nine and then double digits from 10 to 12, I just use a single H. Okay. So let me make some sizing adjustments to this and reposition it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is enlarge the font size. Let me go to 120. I'm going to change the font also to uh, Watch Apple Mint. I'm going to enlarge this text box a little bit. If it's cropped like this, it'll actually show cropped on your watch face. Let me just kind of go like that. That's looking pretty good. So the next step now is I want a minutes digital clock. So I'm just going to copy paste, duplicate that layer for the hour, go down to the ICU format and make this two lowercase m's. And font size, I want to make that a little bit smaller. So let me change that from 120 down to about 84 and I'm going to left align the minutes digital clock so that as the time changes, it has a little better alignment. Now, if I wanted my digital clock to show 24 hours, I would change the lowercase h to be a capital H. So now when my digital clock time changes, it goes to a 24 hour format simple little trick. All right, there you go. That is how you make a battery progress bar to show the battery level on your Galaxy Watch. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and we'll see you around.